Hi everyone, welcome to my garden. It's a big mess, I haven't cleaned it yet. But I wanna show you my big compost pile. I have several, cause I have horses. This here, if you zoom in, is a big trash can with holes on the bottom. And my big kitchen scraps, I just put it in. When I get weeds, I throw in. And then I take some of these leaves and I just top them and I keep doing this. This is going to take three months, maybe even longer, depending on the weather, to compost down. But it's easy, it's quick, and um, I want it for the fall vegetables, basically. So, another way of composting, you don't have to have all these big things. Let me get the pitchfork, it was right here. I do circle gardening. This is manure and leaves, but I turn this every once in a while, but not very often. But can you see the worms in here? All I did in the fall, add, not the worms, but the manure, the leaves, coffee grounds, and um, I don't do any meat products because we have wild coyotes and stuff that get into it and we have cats in the barn that come and go as they want. Um, this is a great way. You don't have to have space. Now, over here, this is where I trellis my really long beans. This is called trenching. I don't need anything except dig a hole and see how deep it is? It's deep as this. I did this in the fall. Now, you don't have to buy worms. You don't have to buy anything. Now, normally I wouldn't dig this up, but I want to show you. Look at all the night crawlers. They're everywhere. These are your best friends. There's no air in here if I didn't have these because I'm just throwing them in but they produce a lot of air. Their poop, or castings as you call it, is putting a lot of fertilization in here. And um, in about a month, this is gonna be ready to go. I'm gonna to top it with topsoil, plant my plants, and it's done. I didn't need any special tools except for a shovel or a pitchfork. Worms are free. You never have to buy worms unless you're in a desert or somewhere else. Let me put these back. We have a cold spill. Oh, that's a big worm. See right there? I mean, these are humongous. I'm surprised my grandson's not running over. What do I do in here? I was chopping up a bunch of stuff. I usually cut it into pieces unless I'm in a hurry then I just dump it the reason I'm doing that is I want it to decay faster if I have big chunks it's not gonna go fast okay let me tell you something else you could do I use a lot of old soil pots. I don't, sometimes I buy some really good miracle Grow, or I'm Stay Green from Lowe's. So I don't want to replace that every year. So what I do is my plants are going to take quite a while if they ever get roots down here. I, I have pasta in here. <laughs> and green beans, they like both. To fresh this up, I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. That much. I'm going to put some brown in here, leaves. Kind of pack it down. And I'm going to put some of my soil back in here. I'm going to leave about two or three inches. Honey, wait, wait, honey. So I get dressed with um, compost on the top when I plant. Okay, now you need compost in a hurry. You need some hot compost. That's cold compost. It's going to take a while. The worms are going to go up the holes there and work on it. But this, I need hot. I'm going to take my brown leaves. I'm going to put it in. And what I was doing is I was blending 
cleaning a bunch of my table scraps. All liquefied, you don't have to do that. You can have these chopped up. They're gonna put a little in here, not much. The ratio is gonna be a little different on this. More of this because it's liquefied. We're gonna take leaves again. Take some of these because I didn't bring them up. And I'm gonna do this again. Then I'm going to take some of my compost or dirt that you already have. And this is kind of what this compost looks like. It's nice. It's movable. It holds water. I'm going to put a little in here or just any soil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this up to here. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to let it heat up and in two days, in every two days, I'm going to shake it, just mix it up. In two to three weeks, you're going to have compost that looks wonderful. The problem is this takes a lot of room with all these little containers. Okay, so let me show you what else I do with compost. How much do I use? I'll meet you over here. Hi everyone. Let me show you how to use compost. I showed you over there on your pots, you're gonna top dress it two to three inches. Why on top? Because every time you water, all the vitamins are gonna go down. It's like a timed vitamin. But also when I pot something, I take a good handful depending what I'm doing. If there's starter plants, I do a 50-50 the garden soil and compost but when I'm in the garden this is my asparagus bed you can see my asparagus coming up I'm kind of excited I need more in the fall you have to know your plants asparagus loves manure I mean it's a totally different compost than that I top dress this maybe two inches of leaves and an inch of manure cover it up and in the spring i have compost here and i put a sheet of newspaper and then i put the compost on why the newspaper well newspaper is great for decaying stuff it's you know it's the brown but it also keeps the weeds out because manure from horses has a lot of seeds and this is not a hot compost it's a cold compost hot compost you're not going to have seeds very few because they bake so this is what I do you can see how great this looks now if you zoom in but this is way down here I mean this is great soil see that I don't have to do anything after that camera woman's <laughs> my poor daughter she puts up with a lot <laughs> okay so that's it now I want to show you these bags and here's some more leaves this is the Starbucks coffee grounds we don't drink enough coffee for as much landscape as I have can you see how nice it is I let this sit all year and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use with it Oh, and these are the other circle beds. They're pretty much almost broken down. I have to flip them a couple times. Probably every three days I'll flip these, two to three days. It's, my arm's better, but not that good yet. This is where I'll put my tomatoes. Let me show you what to do if you don't want a garden, you just want to do something with your leaves. You want to clean up and keep some weeds away. I have a solution for you. Okay, every fall and sometimes in the um, early spring, February, my neighbor gives me all of his leaves. He probably won't now because he's going to find out they're useful. So please don't watch this. <laughs> what I do on my, like my herb garden here, if you look really deep here, I want to suppress weeds and I get a lot of weeds here 
see here's one trying to come up it's white I put newspaper down then I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole bunch of leaves like three inches of leaves maybe even more and then I take mulch and um, you don't have to buy tons of mulch what I do is I just go get the free mulch. Every city has the free compost and mulch that you could use also. Well, not every city. Mine doesn't. But And then I pack it in. Could I plant in here because I started this late? No. What I can do to get some green in here, so maybe mid-May I could plant everything. Um, sorry, got a weed. <laughs> I'm going to take my coffee grounds. Coffee grounds have a great source of nitrogen. And when you compost, it eats all the nitrogen. That's why you can't grow on it very well. So every week, I add just a little more of the nitrogen coffee grounds. And I know it's going to rain, so it's going to go in. By the way, the coffee grounds are great to keep moles and um, pest out. Now you could overdo it. But also, so see I just put a little in and I'll show you what this looks like in a couple weeks. I love artichokes. So you have the water. I save it. I put it in a container and that's a green and I just water it in. So this is going to help break it down. And by the time I plant in May, one, it looks great. Two, the soil every year, it just builds and builds and builds. So um, that's it. Um, somebody that just wants to get rid of weeds, it's called the lasagna effect, which is also composting. You're just going to put your newspaper, big layers of it, put your leaves, you don't know what to do with it and then either leave it, sooner or later it'll compost, not as good, or cover it with stuff, and that's all you got. So I had a great time showing you this. Anybody that wants to get more technical, I could go into it, but this is a great way to start composting without a lot of money. No five or ten dollar tomatoes here. <laughs> it's all free. Have a great day. Like us, share us, and um, subscribe.